Hey, Pokemon Masters, Berkey Butobi here, and welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Where precisely, I don't actually know. Last I remember, I was in the Hoenn region. You know, I think I might have stumbled upon the Togepi Paradise. It's a secret place. Oh, Togepi. Oh, you must know about Togepi. It's a very popular Pokemon. Although there haven't been that many sightings recently. I do remember there was a beautiful gym leader from Cerulean City who had one one time. Of course, she then ended up getting married to... Oh, sorry, you don't care who she got married to. What you care about is Pokemon. And I'm here today to tell you about Togepi. Togepi is the spike ball Pokemon. It's a fairy type, although that classification was once considered to be normal. Although Togepi is truly anything but. If cared for by a trainer with extreme happiness, it can become a Togetic. And then with a shiny stone, the Jubilee Pokemon, Togekiss. Pokemon Masters, I am here today doing something very special. I am returning something I found. A petrified Togepi egg. I doubt we'll be seeing it hatch today, and I found it on a fossil excavation. And this isn't the only documented case of this happening. Togepi has been found around fossil Pokemon before, and shares similarities to fossil Pokemon. For example, it knows the move Ancient Power, which prior to the events known as Generation 3, were only learnable by legendary Pokemon, fossil Pokemon, and a handful of other oddities, most of which are like Relicanth and Claydol, who are also known for being ancient. In fact, there's even similarities in the way that it goes from being an egg to a Pokemon, in the same way that the claw fossil goes from being a fossil shaped like a claw to an Aranith, or a dome fossil to a Kabuto, or a Helix fossil to an Omanyte, praise be to it. So, if it's not a fossil Pokemon but shares similarities, and it is ancient, why isn't there that many documented recordings of it? For that, we're going to have to take a look at my notes. My notes indicate that Togepi and its evolutions only appear to kind and pure-hearted people. Togetic is disheartened around sad trainers and is known as the happiness Pokemon. And there are proverbs that talk about happiness coming to those who can make a sleeping Togepi stand up. Some even speculate that Togepi and its evolutions could be related to the Eon duo, Latios and Latias. Maybe one in a million Togepi become one of these Pokemon. These Pokemon are brother and sister and share a lot of design traits with the Togepi lines, including the triangles on their bodies and the colors. As well as that, they fly, have mystical powers, and are very in tune with the emotions of people and will only open themselves up to trainers who have compassionate hearts. So a lot of the same themes as the Togepi line. And just like we're sitting in Togepi's secret mirage garden right now, Latias and Latias also have their own secret garden. Of course, we've talked about legendary Pokemon, fossil Pokemon, and Togetic, Togepi's first evolution. But there is a Pokemon that is rarer than all of them, Togepi's final evolution, Togekiss. And that's a whole other matter. Togekiss's Pokedex entries talk about how it only appears to the pure-hearted and kind people. Everyone knows it only appears in regions where there's no conflict. But given that every region has its own version of Team Rocket or Magma or Galactic, it's not surprising that sightings have become fewer and fewer. And that's without the intergalactic Pokemon War coming up. Oh, I'll tell you about that another time, though. For now, though, I bought this egg to the Togepi Paradise because it might be one of the few places in the whole Pokemon world where a Togepi egg might hatch away from other humans. Plus, that's why I bought you with me, Pokemon Master, because I know that you are pure of heart. And perhaps, if we look upon this Togepi egg together, then maybe, just maybe, so hi, Pokemon Masters. I have to thank all of my patrons, especially all the new people who signed up recently, especially Joey Powers, Elizabeth Collins, and Nicholas0202. These patrons allow me to go on these Pokemon adventures. So thank you. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master.